We cannot truly know what biblical contentment is apart from knowing who God is. That God is the creator of all things and the sustainer of all things. That God is not only the creator but the redeemer. And that our salvation is secure in Christ and Him alone. And that if, even if they take our lives, let alone take all our money, take the clothes off our back, take our freedom away, we are still secure in Jesus Christ. The truth of our salvation affects our contentment, but we don't learn it. We don't appropriate it. It's not real to us unless it's taught us by the Spirit of God through the Word of God. A good name is more desired than great riches. Favor is better than silver and gold. A good name is more desired than great riches. And how do we get a good name? We come to Christ, who is the wisdom of God, and in whom is hid all the wisdom and knowledge, all the treasures of the wisdom and knowledge of God. And you, my friend, if your name is Christian, then you have a good name. So guard it and bless God for it. And don't listen to worldly wise men on your way to heaven. Giving to God cheerfully doesn't come naturally because we still struggle with sin. And sin is selfish and selfishness. And sin is rebellion and rebelliousness. And sin is saying, this is my kingdom that I'm building. It's my stuff and I'm gonna do with it what I want to. Joy is a result of giving to the Lord. Joy is a result of having given to God's work, understanding it to be so. Then this joy is available to each and every saint here. This joy is yours for the taking, as it were. And no one can take this joy from you. If you give what God has given to you that belongs to him anyway, to God and his work, you will experience great joy, His blessing. And no one can take it away from you. No one can snatch that joy from your heart. But you will know that what Jesus says is true. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And so if you really want to know this joy, pray. Pray that God will teach you to give cheerfully and give wonderfully. Is our giving an exercise of grace and an act of worship? Our giving is a window into how we view God. And when we remember what Jesus Christ has done and the gift that God has given to us freely, then we too will excel in giving.